Shalom Abakim. I give first all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakadash, the Ba'an plus Millstone, and Sajim Telek. My lesson on real quick on base, how bro, that your walk in the truth is going to be difficult, especially when dealing in the flesh, man. Because, yeah, bro, you're supposed to, you know, it's easy to say, a yeah, walk in spirit, bro, walk in spirit, right? A hell happened, walk in spirit, bro. And not so much to the hell, but more like the temptations that are going to come and occur to try and test your faith. Because truly, man, the flesh is really easy, bro. The flesh is really fucking easy. That's why everyone does it. A lot of people do the shit over the flesh because the flesh is very like it onto. I'm not going to say it real quick. In fact, I can get that right now. And yeah, Matthew 26. In verse 41, and raise watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. In fact, look at the word temptation real quick, bro. See, bro, I also have to true thing, man. Watch, plug it, and pray. Prayer is a very important thing. You might as well be included. I can pray more, man. The A. Because honestly, that's the best tool we're going to have for, for dealing with temptation, man. Let me just word temptation real quick. <coughs> it's lucky, man. I fucking know this. It feels all fucked up right now. And reading an experiment, attempt trial proving. Because honestly, what it is, right? When you have these fleshy lusts, bro. And that goes not just for women, but it's for a lot of everything in drama. And your laziness is a fleshy lust, bro. Sucky. I'll just kick my ass. Lazy is not the one to do shit, man. Yo, that's a lazy. That's that's a loss, bro. So I'm gonna get to real quick. Read out more. I'm reading an experiment. Attempt trial proving. Trial proving. The trial made of you by my bodily condition. Since since condition serves to be a test of love. Is a trial of. Um, Man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, consistency. Consistency. And you're basically trusting your integrity, man. <laughs> because honestly, it's really easy to say, oh yeah, well, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that, bro. It's really easy to say that, man. <laughs> and then when the time comes down to it, are you truly about this truth, man? Because this shit, bro, and this shit, like, there's like, oh, your heart, right? Hey, the spirit and the, the spirit and the flesh. They don't go hand in hand, bro. They don't. They're gonna battle once another, man. So you always have to walk in the spirit. And the best thing to do, person is like, you know, first in my process, man, it is a hey, have that fear in the most high in you. Fear of what the Lord will do to you if you decide to go fuck, go fuck around that shit, man. To do this, to that, man. Because that will put you, like, fuck, you know, like, how do with this wickedness. If I, if I do wickedness, like, fuck, well, like, what's the, what's the outcome? That's really how I think about it, bro. Think of the outcome first of, all right, what is this going to cause for me? Like, yeah, it might, it might feel good in the moment, bro. Be honest, bro, it's, e it's easy as fuck to be lazy, man. It's really easy as fuck to be lazy, bro. To not do shit, to do shit with flesh, man. <laughs> easy as shit, bro. You know? But they are... If I do that, what's the outcome means being the laziest, laziest dude, bro? Well, this guy had that fear the most high in me, man. That, all right, you know, Lord, see what I'm doing. And, hey, when the time is to come, if I can get that real quick. <laughs> this is 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10. Rates were almost... Appear before the judgment seat, Mashiach. So hey, you gotta appear. You gotta hey, everything you've done in this side, bro. You gotta, bro. You gotta stand trial for that, basically. That everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to you have done, whether it be good or bad. So that point where you're just being lazy as dude, right? Not doing shit. Lord, that's like, hey, what the fuck were you doing? Like, what were you doing, man? 
Instead, they can be around instead of doing this and instead of really studying. You just have to be as lazy as dude and not do shit. Like, what are you going to say then? Like, yeah, it was cool at the moment. I'm not saying that it's not. It's cool at the moment, yeah. But what's like, but at the end of the day, what does that benefit for you? It is leads you, it's basically to destroy you, man. <laughs> if I can get that real quick, like, I'm going to size them up. Yeah, this is Galatians 6 verse 7 review. It says, Be not deceived. But they don't think that, hey, you got away with it, man. Don't think that, bro. Just because nothing happened at the moment. And that's what said about, said about that. First, make this real quick, then we're going to jump to that. It says, Be not deceived, yet how well it's not mocked. If I can get that word mock real quick. <laughs> so don't think that you get a one up, a one up on the Lord. You have to turn up the nose or sneer at to ridicule. Say, the most high is not something to ridicule, man. Why is his, so whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap? And that goes hand in hand to both my both. Because honestly, if you're reaping for the flesh, hey, in fact, I'm going to get that excess right here. And when he that sows to the flesh shall the uh, shall of the flesh corruption. <laughs> but he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So hey, if you're doing good, hey, you're gonna reap good, man. You reap you reap what you sow. So hey, be mindful of that, be careful of that, bro. <laughs> it's honestly better in the bet and honestly what it all comes to bro is procrastination and laziness. And gain shit easy, bro. That really all comes down to, man, is being this lazy as dude, bro. And then with like woman, right? I say a bitch, and you're like, oh yeah, this and that, and you're like, oh she got a man. But you know she's off feeling, and you're like, just say no, man. You're like, you're just taking your time to say no. We're like, alright, just fucking find some shit somewhere else. Instead of that easy shit, that hey, you know what's going off, you know what's wicked. You know that shit ain't right. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like I said, the flesh is really, it's like I said, the flesh is really, really easy, bro. Being a dude in the world is really fucking easy. But being a man in the spirit, hey, that's where difficulty comes, bro. <laughs> Constantly walking, making sure, examining yourself that you, what you're doing is correct and right and trying to improve yourself, man. That role truly is, bro. <laughs> You know, like I said, not, I'm not saying that you're going to be perfect 100% of the time. But you're gonna strive, you got to strive for perfection. In fact, I'm going to get that real quick. But I'm first going to get that one time earlier. And Ecclesiastes. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11 reads, Because sentence against the evil word is not executed speedily so just because at that moment and they for maybe for a while you got away with it man maybe for a while you know no one says you know nothing happened maybe you know what maybe it was all right maybe it was okay maybe this like you make you know bro you can make 10 million fucking excuses in your own goddamn head man and that's the thing but you can make 10 million excuses in your own head you know you can be that's the first thing that's gonna happen bro is you're gonna make excuses you're gonna say this, that, and the other. But, if you ain't doing it right, that's the thing, you gotta rebuke those thoughts. You gotta rebuke that says, hey, you know, that shit ain't right, that shit ain't right, that shit ain't right, according to the most high. This is because senses against the evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So then you're saying your heart to do evil, bro. So let me get this real quick, bro. In Proverbs, man. Because like, like I said, bro, we all said then they we're not gonna be perfect, bro. We're not we're not gonna be perfect, man. We're not. I mean, that's that's the truth, bro. We're not gonna always you know, make the right decision, make the right call, make the right choices, bro. We're not, man. All of them is up to most high, but you're gonna go off time and time, man. 
limits real quick and we can we'll say it real quick. Yeah, you're gonna go off time and time, don't be wrong bro. But don't try and use it for excuse because that what it says right here is for just man fall seven times, but rise up again. But the wicked shall fall into this sheep. Basically using an excuse, you're basically making an excuse for your own weakness, man. And you're falling into mischief, you're gonna keep falling and falling and falling and falling. So, but a just man falls sometimes, bro. A just man's gonna fall, fuck up, and learn. That's the thing, bro. He's gonna learn. If you ain't learning what you're doing, bro. You know? So, you ought to be really careful. I said, be really careful what you do in the day to day. Because honestly, bro, the flesh is one of the most easiest shit you could do in your life, man. It's really easy, really, it's really tempting. Really fucking tempting, though. Like, not saying that it's gonna be a piece of cake, like, yo, yo, yeah, if you do this, like, yeah, man, you, I can say, you can say it all day, every day. When it comes down to it, are you really about it, basically? This is Romans 3 and verse 8, sorry, 8 and verse 13. It's like, yeah. And it's for if you live after the flesh, you shall die. So if you live after the flesh, if you follow the worldly shit, you're gonna die, bro. You're not gonna, if you set yourself to do evil and be down with this world. But if you do, but if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. And let's get the word mortify real quick, man. What was he asked, Romans? The word mortifies you put to death, to die, to destroy, render extinct. <laughs> so if you if you go do things to the spirit, man, and you're gonna mortify, you're gonna basically put away those fucking deeds that you did before, bro. And try like, alright, you know, I'm not doing that shit no more. I mean you basically put that shit that worldly shit that you were man before, because honestly, you were the worldly, bro. That's the understand, we were worldly. All of us are. I'm not saying that you you like oh you know. Oh, this, that, and like, yeah, all of us are, man. And the whole world we live in, man, that pertains to the flesh, dog. Like, it's, like, yeah, you're walking in a wicked society. You know, of course you're going to go all time time. So basically, you try to do the best you can, man. Because if you do what you, if you do what you, everyone else does, bro, hey, you're going to lead yourself into death, man. But that's one of the with that, give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kapurdash, Nasakim, Shalom.